Come on. Oh, it's, in, it's an oil pan. Hey, if it's get a tornado, we're bringing it in here. I'm just saying. That's bad, dude. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Day two in the shop, working on the Hellhorse twin turbo build for the GT 350R. Today's goal is to start tackling the oil pump gears, get some of this front engine apart, and we're also going to pull off fuel rails. All of this is basically going to come out. This stock air box is going to get taken off and just make things easier when we actually start doing the headers. The lift definitely helps, but right now, Ken's going to hook up the end gauge. We're going to download the stock tune so we can send it off to Palm Beach Dyno. Definitely going to be capable of a thousand horsepower, but yeah in the last video you guys saw if you haven't clicked up above we're gonna fab up some brackets and stuff all to be coming later we're gonna get started a lot of work to do and uh let's get to it this has got to come off as a 10. unfortunately this is not gonna get reused come on come on come on what did you end up doing with the charge pipe i put it back in that box over there since i unwrapped it jlt if you guys don't know i got jlt promo codes too in the description wow that's on there tight bro what he man put this thing in oh my gosh that's eat the wheaties that's tough so wow that's pretty full so these things definitely work highly recommend even if you're naturally aspirated that is a lot of oil we're gonna set these off to the side so we're safe uh what is this eight i need a ten it Ken, yeah. right it's there. in the oil pan. <laughs> stop, stop. <laughs> if you can't ever find anything, it's guys, it's, it's in your oil pan. First place you should look. Where's the 10? I can't find the 10 mil. Oh, it's right there. Got it, got it. Damn, come on. Come on, baby, there we go. Catch cans we're not gonna reuse. Obviously, air box we're not gonna reuse. Um, yep, completely dry. Drove like a thousand miles. This is a black coffee right here. So, I drink it. <laughs> you pay me enough money, I'll do about anything. I think it's 15 to 17, 5 0 manual automatic. Yeah. Cover, Calibration right now. Oh, yeah. Tuner works his magic. We go fast. Come on. Oh, Jesus. Well, it's not dripping up here anymore, so if you want to reposition that and then uh, turn, the, turn the thing. Uh, they may, you may just need, uh, do it by hand. Ah! Basically just walk next to me. You should be good. Well, we've already taken all this in the back loose. You don't have to do that for this job, but it does make life a lot easier, especially once you remove that, uh, section there, the battery block. Getting to the header bolts. Back here, you got clips that you can easily access, and then some of these valve cover, uh, bolts you can actually get to a lot easier, plus the header bolts. All these, with that battery block still in place, Unless you're, you've got a small arm going back here. It's uh, really tricky. It's a lot, it's, it's pretty tough. It honestly looks more scary than it is, but it makes life so much easier, yeah. so. Eight mil. Well, you see the room between the condenser and the red? Yeah. It's like much more than GT, yeah, I like that. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, it's really kind of cool to, to actually take a 350 apart to see the, those differences, you know right. what I'm saying? What makes this a little bit more track friendly. Oh yeah. It's really cool, actually. It's, a, it's an oil pan. It's an oil pan. Oh, do you? Oh my gosh. That's, a, that's awesome. Woo, buddy. Look how beefy these things are, man. Come on, baby. Come on. Can you get that tent from me now? Yep. Ow, that hurt. Get off. I know I'm loose on this. Or you can uh, cut the zip tie. There we go. We're somewhere safe. Safe is over here. Look at those. You got blue springs in here. That's nice. Got the good stuff. This guy does. A little bit more beefy than a regular GT, so valve float issue should not be a problem at all. So, dude. Hey, if it's get a tornado, we're bringing it in here. I'm just saying. You know what I mean? Yeah. What do you mean? No, but seriously, if it starts hailing, that's bad, dude. I want to probably bring mine in here. Gonna be quick about it. Oh my God. Oh man. Oh, I can't see. It's so foggy. Come on, come on, come on. I can't, I can't see anything. I can't see you, Can you gotta have to tell me. I got room? Yeah, we're good. We're good. All right, all right. 
All right, good, good, good. All right, crisis averted. That was uh, it's intense. Wow. All right, so let's, uh, let's this before I have to that. Yeah, man. All right, so we're making progress. All right, so we have valve covers off. So everything is disassembled here. All we really have to do now, get to the oil pan, loosen some stuff up there. Timing cover comes off. Very, very easy. Um, if you guys are somewhat mechanically inclined, you can follow simple instruction, like a Ford manual, for example. You know, it's not too bad. It just takes a lot of time, effort, but uh, just, go, just go slow. So it's a marathon, not a sprint, guys. So, but that is a uh, GT350 disassembled up to this point. Yeah. It's already it's got paint marks on the Put paint I see on that. Yep. You see what I'm saying? Yep. This is the inside of a Gen 2 Voodoo. The oh, guides are a little bit different, but yeah, you got primary chain, yeah. secondary chains, phasers, intake cam, exhaust cam, phasers. Mostly pretty familiar, but uh, oil pickup is the same. So we're going to have to lower the oil pan down just a little bit, a couple inches, and then be able to take off the uh, the timing stay. That, that yeah, hurt that the hurt elbow. Oh, man. funny bone. That's so funny. I'm going to do that again. Ow! Man! Magnet. You want that magnet now? Pretty please. Ooh, look at that one, all them burnt marks. Look at all that oil in that plug. No, shut up. <laughs> slack. It's tense. It's like super back. tense. Okay. Let's go back. Hold up. Hold up. You I got, got it? it? You I got, got it? it now. I got it now. All right, put it back where it was. So we knew we did it right because... Yep, yep. So then... Move the engine. Then you're primary can come off here and then that's for that side this is uh way beefier than the gt these are nice and then this is what the uh the guides look like very different we don't have this it's just the, the black it doesn't have you know this this piece yeah, right here so yeah. Yeah, this is uh, super sexy. I like it. Everybody watching, we are by the book right here. Next step is going to be oil pan. This is going to be a mess. Ten quarts coming right here. God, yep. It hadn't been ruined. Man, it feels warm. It it, uh, yeah, it's boom. Yeah. Look at all that metal flake. <laughs> <laughs> it's not your car, man. If it's your car, well, it's that's, good. that's unfortunate. <laughs> that's. that's <laughs> <laughs> I'll just say unfortunate for, for monetization. Yes. In course, baby. All right, guys. So oil pump is out and pretty easy. We fought with a bolt for about an hour. One of the oil pan bolts. No big deal. But Jack is actually going to be dissecting his oil pump here. So he's pretty excited. Pretty easy here. So best thing to do is keep the tool straight up and down and just take your time so you don't strip these out. No, yeah. Definitely do not want to do that. Just don't impact on the way in. Oh, okay, so they interlock with each other. We actually put in a, a new revised. I have the same ones in my car. It's, uh, they're sleeker, but they're just more high strength, so. And basically they're I mean, stronger than these. These right yeah. here will crack and they can break and then you lose oil pressure. You've seen that happen? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the stock ones are really good for like the, the RPM that the engine's, you know, factory tuned at. As long as you don't have no horsepower added to it. Right. right. And then after that you run a race. You, there's some playroom in there, but you know, above, you know, 600. Uh, yeah, this yeah. is arguably 100% necessary. So this is your aftermarket one. I can tell you that this does feel a little bit sleeker, uh, comparison to this one, guys. I got a color link there yeah. and right here, right here. There, there, there. And now it's going to take. Yep. Yep. I've, uh, let Jack kind of take over and I've been film crew for him so that he can learn a lot about this guy's watching. But, uh, yeah, I've done this a, a few times already on mine. So, uh, thanks to Ken here for definitely helping and teaching me, but it's, it's honestly pretty easy. You can refer to past videos or he's got a bunch on yeah, gen one, gen two coyotes. The, the voodoo. The voodoo is completely different. So we have workshop manual from Ford. So Jack's getting to actually learn, which is really cool. Yeah, it's, like, it's, it's fun to watch him. You know, it's cool for me to like take a step back and just kind of enjoy yeah, and then yeah. see you learn something that's really cool because this is your car we got this side in time and i did i did about 95 percent of that Can't you did a you did good job you did good yeah. job so we're in time over here and uh we're gonna follow continue to follow instructions retime this side we will by the end of this video have this engine sealed up tonight before we get out of here so xander's getting a good pov of it and that hole is a little tooth you gotta kind of turn it and at the same time with your vice squeeze it together well yeah but gt don't have 
these teeth. Oh, they don't, so they're completely different? Yeah. yeah. See, it's got teeth that lock in, right? So if you got the tension on it, then once these teeth are out of the way, like this, then you start doing it like that. There we go. That right there is gonna hold this. This is a heavy duty tensioner. So it needs that, that's it, that keeps it in. <laughs> All right, this is uh, this is all for you. So you know how in the coyotes, yeah, we rotate this way. One, go, you go one revolution back. No, two, and no. And then you go back no, around to this. No, we're not doing. Are you serious? So on this, that on the coyotes, you go one full revolution. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. then you go back around, oh, right? Yes. On the Voodoo, they are allowing us to go. Are we going backwards? We're going counterclockwise. Counter wow. They're allowing us to go. It by the book. To, That's yeah. a no no. They used to, yeah. no, but they used to let us do that in a, on mod motors in the past. Uh -huh. The three valve. The three valves, you set it, then you roll backwards, and you set it. The coyotes come out, they had us you rotate, you rotate one full revolution back to the, like, that's, if this is the coyote, we would rotate We'd be going back revolution. around, yeah. So and you gotta get, guys, you get this side in time, like we've done, mm -hmm. and then uh, you mm -hmm. rotate a revolution, you go back to uh, the position that the crank needs to be in, your uh, um, um, uh, keyway. So then you're saying we're going backwards, which is uh, you, something you don't do on a coyote, but this is a Use voodoo. Use tool, rotate the counterclockwise clockwise back to the Back 930. to the 930, interesting. So this, is, this engine time's on 930 and 1230. Wow, different almost playing on his video too that's crazy Deal it's so there. crazy like uh essentially the architecture of this engine versus the five liter is so vastly similar but when you tear it apart you start getting down into the nitty-gritty of this okay, it's vastly different the and not a di engine so the, even the phasers are different so it's like a gen 2 where are you at where are you at, where are you at? Where are you at? Will not line up but every do, 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 brown yep right. so their painted so mark is dead center still in time 12 hours later we have a sealed well, engine so we're at a stopping point for tonight and uh, we'll pick everything up in the morning for the next day so still a lot of work to do but wheel pump gears are in definitely a necessary thing that you need to do i don't know why you wouldn't next upload we're going to actually be starting on the turbo install we got to get the oem headers off and then it's going to be smooth sailing guys that's it for today's episode thank you for watching be sure to turn on post notifications to check out the other videos coming guys this thing is going to be a monster full review at the end of everything uh lots more stuff to come so i'm excited gt350r twin turbo hellhorse performance let's go see you next episode that's <laughs> the end of the video <laughs> see you the next one Xander doesn't know what to say, so I'm gonna tell you. See you later. I'm so excited for this twin turbo installation to actually start, which will be in the next video. So post notifications, please turn them on, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Guys, really appreciate it. I said guys again, didn't I? <laughs> You're turning to me. I know I am. I say it like a lot of times. <laughs> I really appreciate every single one of you that are out there that watches the videos. Um, this is going to be absolutely just disgusting on the street. Nasty roll race car. Hell horse twin turbos getting started tomorrow. Well, I'll love it. Yeah, we out. See you tomorrow.